Hey guys, Chip here. So uh, I've been working a lot lately on the uh, EV Plus Cycles material system. Many of you may have heard of it. It's been around for quite some time. One of the interesting things about this material system is it basically uses node groups and helps you learn about how to use materials. It's not an add-on that, that you just update settings on and slide value. These are materials that you add to your objects and then you can adjust those materials inside the shader editor. I'm going to show you what I mean here in just a second. One of the things that gives me the ability to do is I can create very custom materials to fit that exact use case that I want. As an industrial designer who really cares about making sure the materials look perfect, it is something that allows me to create many materials. When you purchase this product, you end up getting a link to a G drive. In that G drive, you can R-Sync it or use something like GoodSync or the free R-Sync and set it up on your own computer. It'll automatically download all the updates. And I'm constantly updating this. I'm adding new materials, updating existing materials, and that's going on day in and day out. If you R-Sync it, you just continually get the new materials. There's many gigabytes of materials. And because of that, Blender Market doesn't handle that too well. Blender Market doesn't do a good job of handling files that large. And that's why we use G Drive, plus the fact that I don't want people having to download 20 gigabytes of materials when they only need a few new ones. The other thing I'll mention is that I work hard to make sure that these are efficient materials, not huge texture maps and lots of different kinds of shaders, but efficient shaders. They don't take too long to work. We have car paint, camo materials, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. Let me show you what I'm working on now. So this is a complete procedural hobby map material that allows you to create grids with crosses and dots. This is just showing two examples here. What's nice about it is if you can select one of these, you can change the background color. If, if I want to make this blue, I can do that. If I want to make this more white, maybe control C, control V, and then just make this more white. And you'll see that it pops up. I can go in here also and say value and move this where I want it. So Let's go ahead and take this background color and let's move it down just a little bit so you can see what's going on. You can see this basically has a couple different pieces to it. It's got a scale factor, which you can adjust the scale of it. This is just a, a shader material. And I've created this group called CW Grid 1D. You can copy and paste this into your other projects as well. I can set the scale. These are the default numbers, by the way, X grid offset. If you want to move the grids around, you can actually move them around in, in X and Y if you want. The thickness is the thickness of the lines, right? So if I say 0.3, you'll see that these lines get quite a bit thicker. And the cross thickness needs to be a little larger. And the cross area, as you can see, it gets a little larger too. And the dot thickness, I can make these larger and very small. If I make them zero, of course, they just go completely away. And the dot density is how many dots you have. Let's go ahead and make the dot thickness. Let's make it one. Let me test it. And then the dot density, we can move this down. Let's make it nine. So you can see that changes. You can adjust these all day long and change the, change the color. Uh, so I've got a little ambient. And if I bypass that, you'll see that there's not a lot of ambient light flecking up on there. So I just added this on here because I wanted to. If you want to increase the ambient, you can jack with that number. If you don't want to use the ambient, you can just bypass it like this. That's really all there is to it. It's a very simple object. If, if you have EV material systems and kit ops kit ops free or kit ops pro it'll be in here it's called hobby map here are some other things i've been working on procedural dots perf dot and groups we're adding a new feature to kit ops where you'll be able to store node groups and geometry node groups and place those as well so that'll be a neat thing that's really it just thought i'd share this with you if you're on my patreon you'll get this scene file if you have ev plus cycles it'll be updating there as well hope that was helpful and we'll see you online